My name is Sharon Fitzmaurice and I'm a holistic wellness coach based in County Galway. I'm doing this little promotional video to introduce you to my first book, Someone Please Help Me, So I Did. It's the first book in the Awaken Your Potential series and it's all about helping you to help yourself. And as a little surprise, I've also written a beautiful 21 day gratitude and guidance journal and it'll help you while you're reading my book to give yourself some time out to love and accept, to forgive, to have compassion and kindness towards yourselves and others. It's an inward journey into your own healing, your own self-awareness and your own personal development. A little introduction into my book. Like our lives, our stories are forever changing. Our start in life remains the same, but we can always change the next chapter. We are all just finding our way and we all need help at some point in our lives and I am no exception. I started writing this book in my head many years ago, wanting to change each chapter as it happened. Like this book, I have grown and evolved over time. The storyline that I started out in my life wasn't always that pleasant, and as a child, I wanted the happy ending. In my mind, the confusion of not understanding or knowing how to control the situations around me led me to believe that I had no control, not even in my own mind. For many years I lived in a haze of fear and anxiety. The demons inside my head seemed real and I was running, running from my own fear. I always saw myself as a little girl running through a field with something chasing after me. So I kept running, running for most of my life. But what was I running from? I was running from myself. The shadow that followed me didn't feel like it was a part of me, but a constant reminder of the dark side within all of us. Some days the dark side took over everything and there was no light to be found, to be seen or to be felt. In ways it was a safe place, as I couldn't see what was coming for me. It's almost easier to sit in the dark than to reach out for the light. And when we come out of the darkness, our whole self is revealed and we may not like what we see or feel. Ultimately, we are all just ordinary people living our day-to-day -day lives, some of us overcoming extraordinary challenges and don't go on to write about them. But I felt a strong desire to share in how from my lowest point, my most vulnerable place, how we all have an incredible inner strength, a resilience, and it pushes us to thrive I want you to believe that you too have the same strength of mind, body and spirit. In my life, I have found many people that have guided and helped me through some of my most challenging struggles and even through my learning. But I had to find my own way in learning what would work best for me. It is not always easy but in doing so, you create the life you truly want for yourself. You take responsibility. You decide how it all turns out, how your life turns out. Through my own personal journey, I have battled with anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, and a lack of understanding what all of these labels meant to me. The shadows that I ran from were deep within my core and no matter how fast I tried to run, they would invariably follow. No one in the world can fully understand what goes inside your mind. Only you can truly know that. Once we find a deepened understanding of the way we think, feel and engage with the world, we can work towards identifying our individual needs and how to cope or deal with our daily challenges. I don't claim to know all the answers to life's questions, 
but I can only share what I have learned along my journey. In doing so, I hope that you too will find peace and exceptions in your life to go on and achieve what your heart desires. I have learned that we all need help at certain points in our lives and it is okay to reach out. I am reaching out to you in this book. Please never feel like you are alone or walking your path in solitude. In truth, none of us are. We are surrounded by divine love. It never diminishes, it never fades, and is available to each of us at all times. This is something I have learned to understand more and more as my life progressed. In the end, all that really matters is that you love and accept yourself for who you are in each moment. In doing so, you will find the strength to live another day. And who knows, someday you may look back and see how far you have come and you will be amazed. So thank you for taking the time to watch my little video. I hope that you will come to my book launch on the 8th of December in Corinthians Rugby Football Club in Castlegar. Everyone is welcome. And you'll be able to order the book online the website you go to is www.sharonfitzmorrismindfulness.com with all the details there. And through my work, I have grown and evolved and I want you to grow and evolve also. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope that you enjoy my book and my new journal. Thank you.